Hey guys, my name is Stefan Bond is cool and today I'm opening up this <laughs> It barely even fits on the freaking the camera. Oh my god. I okay, so I Got a purple worm model because I couldn't stop myself this thing is Massive and like, here's my hand for size. This is the size of my hand. So I'm gonna say like this, besides this tear here, I'm ready to open this up and see what it's like. So give me one second. I'm going to open it up from the top here and hopefully. Okay, not that side. Is there a side I could open this up from that I won't destroy the boxing? Oh, from the side. Okay, there we go. All right, let's wait. Where's my... All right, let's go. This thing is massive. Primed? Paint ready out of... Oh, it's primed. I don't even need to prime this sucker. Let's go. All right. Now, mind you, I barely do any, like, legitimate priming anyways. Oh, fuck. I just kind of... Dry brush. Paint onto it. Oh, do I have more tape? Yeah, I have more tape. Alright, cool. Let's take off the rest of the tape. <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. This thing is literally the size of my hand. This thing is massive! Got all these teeth here. I'm gonna have to paint every fucking tooth. Every fucking tooth. I'm gonna have to paint every goddamn tooth in this thing's mouth. Look how many there are. Like, holy shit. We got a whole bunch of thorns. We got a whole bunch of these little crevicey areas. Oh my god. And the stand it comes with is actually clear, which makes sense because, I mean, in reality, it comes with its own stand. It just makes it, I guess, more official in the, like, rule set book. Like, oh, if you put this on the actual table, here is the dimensions it would take up on your actual, uh, uh, on your actual thing. So, boom, right there. Oh my god. <laughs> This thing is massive, and um, I love it. Holy shit. Guys, just look at that. So, the we talked about the purple worm on stream a few days ago. A few days ago when I'm recording this, mind you. Um, and... People are asking, like, would the purple worm be able to defeat the Taras? And the answer is no. <laughs> just, I mean, like, it, it give it a fight for its money for like a second, but in all reality, the purple worm's not gonna beat no Taras. Nah, no, nah, not at all. These things get up to about 70 to 80 feet long, with like a diameter of their mouth like 10 feet uh, wide. These things can actually eat you. Now, we have done a few mini painting streams already. Um back at, um, back over on the Twitch channel. And you guys have probably seen a lot of those VODs, so I want to show you guys what some of these guys uh, are sized like against the Purple Worm, which, mind you, not the entire body of the Purple Worm is showing, and it is very much so coiled around itself, right? So let's start with the biggest ones, just to show you, like, an example. The last model we painted was the Devil Model, which I had a great time with. The devil model is only like, hold on, that big compared to it. Like, it's only that big compared to it. Mind you, if I had gone a few more times, one, two, this thing is about as long or as tall as four of these devil guys. If it was standing straight up. But, like, look at that size difference. This is a big model. This is considered a large model. It is massive. This is humongous. <laughs> or, here's another one. My first model I ever painted, Gorf. 
dwarf. Uh, who was named by Ethan O. Uh, fucking... Like, this dude could be vored by the blue, pur by the purple worm. Or, hold on. For any Warhammer fans out there. A, uh, Vindicator. I painted a while ago. Yeah, that's not, that's not a fight that's gonna be worth it, right? <laughs> um, the Bronze Wormlings I painted a little while ago. Baby little dragons would get eaten up by this purple worm. These shrooms I painted, these are, some, these are like my third and fourth ones here. Like I painted the little shroom guys I painted. The beer golems, which I actually really enjoyed painting. And lastly, the smallest model I have. The hell pugs. The fucking tiny little hell pugs. Literally. I gotta fit the entire model in its mouth. The Hellpug just entirely fits in its mouth. I think I could fit the Beer Golem. Right on in, nice and easy. The Shroom. Easy. The Wormling would fit in. It's gonna be a little tougher because it's, you know, but like, you know, if the wings were down, it'd be in. Potentially just going long-wise? The, uh, the Vindicator might just be able to slide in if it went like, Aww. But, oh my god, this thing is... Just... Just... Look at all this shit. The size differences in these models are hilarious to me. And, uh, I love it. These are not all the models I've painted, I'm still... There's still a few of them, uh, on the counter there, but like... I am really excited to get my hands on painting this model. I don't intend to paint it for a little bit, primarily because I want to practice more painting. So I can at least get like I want to get these rocks done well. I want to make sure that I get the sand looking well, the rocks looking well, all that kind of stuff. Um, I want to make sure that I get a good color for the actual skin, which I do have a paint that is literally called Purple Worm Purple. Uh, I want to make sure I get a good sand color for the insides of its uh, belly button, where you can like kind of like leave a little tickle. And yeah, I am. Oh my god, this thing is fucking massive, guys. I don't know how to explain it. It's just it's massive. Anyways, um, I hope you guys are excited to see me paint this. I want to do more models in the future. And I will continue to do a lot of model painting, whether it be D&D &D or Warhammer related, because I do have the Luminous Realm Lords I eventually want to do as well. I'm going to give myself a few more weeks of painting before I even try this, just so I can understand sand color better. Make a better color for sand, um, and try that out, or see if I have anything that's like stone, earth, etc. And I have to do the teeth. I have to plan out colors here, which... Honestly, I could just follow the formula here, which is like basically three colors, the sand, the skin, the insides, then the wash, you know? But we'll, we'll see how this goes soon. I am really excited to give it a shot. It, honestly, it might be a lot simpler than I think. It might just be a whole bunch of dry brushing and then a wash because there's a lot of crevices all over here. And I think that wash would make it look really, really nice. Oh, I am so excited to get this done and get this actually painted eventually whenever I can. If you guys are enjoying my mini painting videos, please make sure to tell me down in the comments. I really enjoy doing them. Uh, if you guys have any minis you would recommend, uh, please tell me. Um, and I'll see if in the future I could try to get one of those minis and give them a shot. Oh my god, this thing's heavy. What the fuck? Hold on. Yeah, that, that's got heft to it. Oh my god. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's go. Okay, that's fine. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for being there for me today. I hope you all had a good one. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this tiny little unboxing video. <laughs> you all stay safe. Stay bond is cool. I'm spinning it around. I love it. And I'll see you soon. Bye, everyone!